Mike. Power Book Three: <laughs> Raising yeah, K Dogs. I forgot to say that last week, so you I did. didn't include the image. Power Book Three: Raising K Dogs. Episode drug. Four: Don't Sleep. <sighs> Slow week. This was slow. Yeah, this was. I slow, felt like this slow. was a little bit better than last week. And was we it? got the old school power feeling back of you know a nigga being tied up and tortured. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unique is yet. acting out of fear right that. now, and we didn't get that out of Ghost. But yeah, well, we my got nigga's that. ear out the socket. You know what I mean? His his homeboy, yeah. his heart. He said it was his heart. If he was gonna do that, you ain't have to torture the nigga. I was like, I thought, I thought he was gonna let him go if he was doing all the torture shit. Like you and at the just... craziest part, a nigga tells you he loves you. Bow. <laughs> like, I love you, Nick. Bow. <laughs> you my heart. Mm. You my heart. But I gotta kill you, dog. Yeah, dog. no, that That's nigga's nuts. mental is is he afraid? Suspect. Yeah, afraid. I, I I definitely thought he would have a little bit more control. You know, at least that's what they were showing us initially. But he's yeah, emotional. He's shaky. Yeah, he's shaky. I he's Franklin after apart. he got shot, making questionable decisions for sure. For sure. Yeah, I can see that. And he killed the wrong person, no? I mean, technically, yes, because yeah. Rock is the one that gave away. And the position. so he got him because he was fucking smoking, smoking. rock. Yeah. <laughs> he was smoking <laughs> the product. He was getting out on his own supply. The shit you was supposed to. He flip. was. He bl- He really blaming the wrong rock. But at the, <laughs> like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, my nigga, you you out here getting junkie high. Like you wasn't smoking the joint. You wouldn't have a cigarette. Like nigga, you was out here fucking basic. You uh, man, what? You was no, he he had, he had glass. He didn't have. He was a sniffing. He had glass. Yeah, glass. Like, yeah, yeah. Because he kept referencing that he was smoking glass. Mm. Like fam, you doing the the work? You doing dog food? Yeah, when you supposed you, to be <laughs> selling it, fam? Like you supposed to sell the product, not enjoy it? Oh man, yeah. No, that was crazy. That was nuts. I'm starting to hate the whole Marvin and the white girl story more and more. Every I hope, episode. I hope this ends it like that him ends and it. his daughter act the same way, y'all. When the white girl start getting close to to jukebox, what she start doing? Getting defensive. Mm-hmm. I don't need you. We not from that same world, Caitlin or whatever her name is. <laughs> uh, we not from Christine. the same world. You out here with all these rich white people. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Queens, Jamaica. We not the same. Yeah, she Emma. be doing that shit with her when she get close. Yeah, back up, Emma. <laughs> but then and then when, <laughs> when her daddy getting close to the white girl, let me let me cuddle with you, Marvin. Yo, Man, Marv- bitch, get the fuck off me. <laughs> I ain't never seen a nigga get so offended. Give me your some dog. sex cuddles. I ain't never seen no niggas cuddling. Like, Give me this dog hey, back. Hey, like, chill out, fam. <laughs> like, Bro, he quavoed the dog back. Yeah, while smoking <laughs> while smoking a port while smoking a port. <laughs> Like, bro, <laughs> I gifted you think. this dick. Did you want me to leave this here, too? <laughs> He's like, LT's food bowl is empty. He ain't eat yesterday. <laughs> I hated everything about that scene. I just, he just, he, he fucking spazzed. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's like something switched Both off of them the niggas same. got like deep intimacy issues. So like anytime <laughs> they get even a little bit close to somebody, they like, man, get the fuck out of here. But at least Jukebox came life. back around though. Like, Cause well, she's a kid. She's not as jaded as he is. Yeah, yeah, with a enough. stolen coat at that. <laughs> like, bro, <laughs> I took it for you. So I hope my karma gets like, better. Like she think it's going to be good karma handing her some stolen shit. <laughs> it's because a nigga that just got back from workman's comp that got his face fucking broken. You Thank you in good graces with the Lord, like fam. Oh, hey, yo, ain't no fucking way. I had to quit and found me another fucking job at That's another right. fucking store. You think I'm gonna be here next what? week? No, hell no. Right, the following <laughs> week. Looking at the same motherfucker, man. What? Red all over his face. Still. PTSD. Like, wait a minute, I know you. <laughs> all right, you can go, but this He's is like, the last. Uh, man, you need to go. He's like, yeah, facts. You beat my ass. Like- you beat my ass last week. <laughs> nah, that was my man. It was my man who did that shit. Uh, <laughs> you need me? I tried to save your ass, cuz. Uh, the white girl's dad speaking Ebonics. Trash. 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 That's too fly or whatever he said. Like, uh, stop. Yeah. Stop. Cut it out right Relax. now. He was, <laughs> Relax, he was, Randy. He was trying to be Randy. cool. He was, trying to, he was trying to be cool with his, with his daughter's <laughs> black friend. You know? I mean, I guess. I don't I, know. It was just a little weird to me. Yeah. I mean, it's what white people do, though. That's yeah. what the white people do when they kind of like you, when you're kind of a good black in their eye. They try to relate to you. They try to dap you up. By speaking abonics. What's call up, you, brother? Yeah, call you brother like your fam. <laughs> Gross. I, I'm not What's your up, brother. What's up, brother? I'm not your brother, fam. At all. Come on, brother. Come on, put it there. We all know when white people say brother is diet, nigga. 
<laughs> it definitely is diet nigga. Yeah. Not even great value nigga. It's no, diet nigga for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And two fly, that's a diet brother right there. Yeah, that definitely. <laughs> your your stepping stones are all fucked up. Famous <laughs> is trash on the mic. You think so? Awful. Thrash. What? Trash. I think Famous's first song is gonna drop some details of the bullshit they did. He's mm. a he, he's a little did y'all catch his last bar? Did y'all catch his last bar? Oh, I didn't because he said they want some real shit. Yeah, I didn't they even think about that. They could lie and say that the, he was one of the niggas. But yeah. the last bar he said that, but they needed that body back. Mm. He's like, yeah, that last part was good, but we need some more of that. Damn. I don't think he trash. I just think he young. And then they, he got marched out in front of this dude, right? Like he don't really even give a fuck about what's going on. He only care about oh the girl. Sister, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He not even paying attention to what's going on in the booth because you you see in the in the preview for next week, he not about to be fucking with Juke, and we know Juke is is ten times more talented. What exactly? Than 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 oh boy, than famous. So it's like. He's not, his eyes aren't really there. I think they just use that to highlight the fact that he really doesn't really give a fuck about what's going on with Famous. They just solidifying that, that, that Camacho really won't old girl. Yeah. yeah. When I say trash, I don't think he can't get better. But right now, it's it's not where it's it not to, it. It's not giving Y'all what it needs to give. I love the freestyle from last week in the park where he was, you I know. Hated I, it. Eh. I hated it. As soon as he pointed to the group, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Crown is right. He's giving off a little corniness right now. It's just not hidden. He's trying too hard to yeah. be down. Hey, man. Yeah. Will Smith had a luxurious career, a great career. Yeah. He, he could That's be, a black could man be from Will Philly. Smith. That's but a Will black Smith. man from Philly and a Puerto Rican from Queens. <laughs> hmm. hmm. Plus, Will Smith's biggest gripe was that he was corny as a rapper. So he knew his corniness was a thing. Yeah. It just kind of worked for him. Man. He was cool enough, though. I mean, he was corny, but he was like, Fresh Prince, cool. Like, Y'all get that man. His 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 time. I will let let him let. I've got no flourish. choice. I want to keep watching what? the show. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga pulling up with I'm the with, rent. I'm with you, famous. Yikes! You part of the famous. I, I feel famous like you clan. hated famous. Two episodes. Yeah, because now y'all hating on him, and I don't like it. <laughs> That's nuts. He can't be. He can't join in the hate Oh yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Y'all hating on the bars. I, 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 ain't, I wouldn't hating on rap. Stop it. So speaking of famous. Obviously, famous sister is, uh, you know, trying to work her way into the whole crown Camacho thing. She's a floozy. She is a and Lulu is kind of Lulu is a little, a little bit hurt. What's the shit she was telling me? First of all, see, this is why we got to respect famous because famous tried to tell his ass like, "Hey, don't fuck with my sister." Like, I I don't Mm. think you should. I don't. I don't fuck. And everybody took it as, well, he just trying to keep Lulu from smacking his sister, like. What if he was really trying to say, like, no, like, my sister's a fucking scammer. Like, she had your credit card tomorrow. <laughs> a scallywag. Like, it's possible. Calling your sister a scallywag in front of homies. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? Like, maybe that's what he was trying to say. Like, hey, yo, next, look, next level I'm not trying to fuck up anything with y'all's family. Like, I've been trying to get down with y'all for the longest. I don't really think you should fuck with my sister. That's a possibility. Because she's definitely scheming. And he didn't go about it in a shitty way. He was just like, look, I don't eat cereal, bro. I can't tell her this little message that you yeah, wanted to give her. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, bro. Like, I'm trying to I'm trying He wasn't to like, to... get the fuck away from my sister. He was just like, look, you don't want to do it, bro. Yeah. Because she all up in my boy head. Like, Facts. all up in his head. This shit that you got with your sister is small time. I'm sorry, honey. What, where, where are your <laughs> checks being cashed at? What are you doing? Do you see this Besides, love? Following niggas around and showing ass to get your get your your, your brother brothers in sessions. the studio. Ooh. Yeah, what the fuck? Facts. Small Easy. time. Who Lulu? Fuck is wrong with you? What yeah. do she got to call you? What you, you got? Small time. You see this fur? This yeah, genuine nigga. leather from Dapper Dan himself. What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? Fuck is going on? Are you on? dumb? Kanan going to see Davina outside of the uh, stash house proved to be a terrible a decision. Fucking idiot. A terrible decision because obviously because of that. Unique decided to get in her ear and be like, "Look, I can get your mom clean. Just give me some information." Goofy, doesn't get both, hurt. Of, both you, of them goofy. You knew good and goddamn well Kane was gonna get hurt as soon both as you told that nigga goofy. what street it was on. <laughs> both of them, they a goofy ass couple. I want to fast forward to the point where Kaden is good at the game. Like he's good. Like when does he start getting good? Because this he's, he's really this bad. nigga is trash. He's really bad at it he's right just now. Just a sophomore in high school. Give him some time. To yeah. Drive. Well, <laughs> maybe he should have sat his sophomore ass down somewhere. <laughs> like, Ma, I want to move up. 
I can handle this. No, you no, can't. you can't. You fucking up everything. You caught a body first. Was it the first episode? Yo, mm-hmm. two weeks on the fucking job. This nigga caught a body, got his best friend killed. Mama's corners lost. Stash house raided. Two you, weeks. You've been in the game two weeks. You are a ten fuck days, up man. of a um, ten, enormous ten magnitude. Day, ten days, man. <laughs> it's a and terrible then, ten day contract. And then he, <laughs> the and, then he barfed. and then what killed me was when the buddy got shot, you standing there on your knees still looking. Move. <laughs> what are you looking at? Move. <laughs> oh, you throwing up now, bitch. You just caught a body you ain't throw up. Are you here? No, I'm just a little sick. I just froze up. Bro, nigga, get this nigga no. some ginger ale. I, I guess and get this nigga somebody like, get popped in the head and they should explode. It's on a you. little different. Okay, was it not disrespectful for his mom to drop him off to night school to the nigga that's to piping Stephanie, her? You, <laughs> you gotta just say. I wish he would have said something, but I guess that was the point of the whole conversation, right? Like, give Symphony a chance, please, please, son. Give, give him a chance. That's wild to do that. <laughs> well, like you're literally As right in front of the building. Him off to him, give him a chance. But what does mean? Give him a chance. He's your teacher. But you know what? <laughs> but besides the whole walking around in his draws thing, I feel like Symphony is cool enough to kind of let this ride without it being disrespectful. He's not Melvin from fucking Baby Boy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's not coming out wearing fucking baby oil and playing. You know, drinking all the cool Barry White. Shit. Dicking your mama down in the next room. Why you, why you just there? You know what I'm saying? He's not disrespectful. He's trying to respect Kane's space. Plus, he hopefully going to give you some knowledge of the city that he can use. Yeah. Um, no, nah, bro. He being real disrespectful. He, uh, he stepped in on the dinner that he made for his mom. No, bro. that's his mom. That, that mom whole shit was stupid. That yeah. That's I, I thought that sport. it was stupid that he was even mad about that. Like, like fam, you don't. Hey, shit around here, bro. You, you didn't even buy the food you cooked, man. Like, and you, and you, you made your first that, fifty dollars last week. And you wasting that dish soap, squishing it, squeezing it so high. Yeah, man, you kind of got to deal with that. And and to be honest with you, for who your mama is, it could be so much worse. Mm-hmm. It could sure. be somebody so who's disrespectful to her. Not even just disrespectful, just a worse off person. It could be somebody that's in the game. It's more likely that it's somebody that's in the game. Mm-hmm. Like it, it, that's how she got in the game. You should want it to be a normal nigga. See, if you knew if you knew enough about what the fuck it is that you're doing, you would understand that. Exactly. But he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't get doesn't it. at all. He doesn't understand. Lost youth. It was, a, it was just a light episode, but I feel like we got a lot of jukebox, and I like I like the 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 points where we go into her story. Because we, she's one of those characters that we know where she ends up. True. So it's good to see the building blocks in and that story. Well, I was gonna say she's so much different. I was gonna say both of them are different, but Jukebox is completely different. Yeah, yeah. Jukebox well, is completely different. Kanan is kind of different, but Jukebox is like, yeah, no, we are we're almost seeing, night. I think day. they just gave us more of her character. In obviously, right? They're showing her as a teenager, but like they were very limited in what they gave you of Jukebox. In power, I feel like it was just like she was just a crooked cop. It was yeah. very linear. It really wasn't no depth to that. But character. But she was clearly very jaded about any and everything. About everything for sure. So it was like now you're seeing you How know potential that losses that she could have, right? Leading up to her being that jaded. There needs to be huge changes around that character, and obviously not this early. But I just mean like at some no, point. No, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, at some point. Poor Becca is about to be. Oh. I can't. I, about to be I don't stressed. even want to see what's about to happen to her. Poor Christine. Christine. Poor uh, April Jennifer. Is in trouble. <laughs> hey, 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 Where y'all going? Where y'all going? Thanks for watching another Back of the Bus Squad episode. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Want to check out another episode related to this? Go ahead and click that video to the left. If you want to catch up on some of our other episodes, make sure you click the playlist below.